Uh, yeah, good morning, uh, Babe Manuel. Um, Johnny Hanlon, anybody know Johnny Hanlon? Where I come from, Acton. Acton, Lambert Grove, Paddington, not in all around them areas. There was one guy in my early years that was the number one, yeah? Could really march on. And that was Johnny Hannon, the bully, yeah? Um, he could fight, mate. Uh, why they called him a bully, I don't really know. Uh, he didn't uh, take any any prisoners, mate. Of, uh, uh, that's the way he was. Uh, torture for a little bit of time, crash, hit you on the chin. That's maybe why he calls you a bully. Uh, but uh, he didn't really have many fights as such. Fights that lasted a couple of minutes. It was all over in seconds, yeah? The guy could really bang and could really march on. Short guy, five foot eight, uh, massive shoulders, thick, thick shoulders, massive arms. Just knock about with a guy called Barry Murphy and Paul McDermott. And, uh, you know, and uh, I met him years ago, years ago when I was a kid. Uh, very lit, very uh, guy that looked upon you as a threat in lots of ways. Um, I hadn't been in, I was an amateur fighter. I hadn't done my big bird. I had got into the unlicensed fighting yet and all this, that and the other. But I met him and, uh, you know, he shook me a little bit. He was a bit of a bit of an handful. He looked what he was, you know. And he ran the club uh, in Holston for a guy called Terry Downs. Terry Downs was a fantastic fighter, Terry Downs. And he had a lot, a lot of respect for John Yannon because you heard about him, he was looking for him. And he, 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 he just asked him if he'd like to look after his club, you know, because when John had such a good name, Holes and Wills and all around, every round him here is Johnny Annan had the name, yeah? And so Terry Downs let him run the club. Uh, Johnny Annan was, uh, I think that's why Johnny Annan started drinking too much because of the club, you know, and he was getting good, good money. Terry Downs really looked after him. And any trouble in there, mate, he would sort it out. The trouble, the, the club was nice club going there. I was going with Danny Williams, my pal. Nice, nice club, mate. And as you know, in clubs, you always get people that want to come in and cause problems. Always, it always happens, yeah? And one particular guy come in here one night, uh, causing plenty of problems. And his name was Johnny Binden. Uh, Johnny Binden went in there, went in there, um, as a, had a little bit of a drink, uh, gone in there, got on the snozzle, um, plenty of burnt, nice girls in that club, and uh, shouted his mouth about, got out of hand, started trying to do a party piece in the club. Uh, John Yannon wouldn't stand for it, put it on him. Uh, Johnny Binden evidently swung a punch at John Yannon. John Yannon crack, hit him on the jaw, uh, broke his jaw straight away, and steamed right into uh, Johnny Binden, and bashed him up really, really bad. Uh, Johnny Binham was uh, sent to hospital uh, because he was in a bad way, got a broken jaw, uh, uh, nose smashed to pieces, and he was in hospital for about a couple of days, I think. Um, as we all know, uh, Johnny Binham is a person that would come back and stab you up if he could, yeah? But the only trouble was that John Yannon was also that sort of guy. Um, he was quite dangerous. He... He was he was a man that always carried something, and he was he would stab you up as well. Yeah, he would put on your nut if necessary. So I think uh, Johnny Binnan off knew that and didn't go back. You know the, what I was told, what I heard that Johnny Binnan uh, said the truth of him, uh, apologised. Uh, can he come down have a drink and, and this is that and the other? Johnny Allen didn't said no. Stay away from my club. I don't want you down my club, and that's it. And he never went down there again. Um, as far as I know, John Yannan never met him after that. Uh, but John Yannan was definitely the governor, mate. Yeah, they called him the bully. And um, later on in years, he bullied and bullied and bullied. He bullied the wrong people. Uh, he come down to my club, um, Central Wine Bar, Central Park, in in Acton, in Churchfield Road. Uh, where I where I had Jefferson King on the door with me, and there was a bit of trouble upstairs with the Chelsea Hunters and all that. Uh, he come down to that club, not when I was there. Uh, it was a weekday. 
come down there, the club wasn't open, just the bar down there says the wine bar, come down there, cause a bit of, a bit of trouble. And I got a phone call from John, my mate John who owned it, um, told me about being, uh, sorry, John Landon being down there. He said, could, could I get down there and sort it? I said, look, I'm not around at the minute, but um, I will come down there later. I went down there, he wasn't there, yeah? Johnny Allen had gone, so then I tried uh, to get hold of him. I couldn't get hold of him at all. Um, listen, you got a guy like that that comes down to your pl your place and causes problems, uh, you know you've got a problem, you know? But you've got to sort it as quick as possible, because if he thinks that you're weak, he will come down and cause more problems. So what happened then, um, I got hold of a, a very good friend of mine, uh, Alec Jones. Alec Jones uh, comes from that area, Paddock and Lambert Grove, not in all around them areas. I asked him, how would I be able to get hold of John Yannon? He said, well, he's always in certain pubs. Go around, come and go around and find and see if we can find him. So uh, went round a few pubs. He was in a pub, a well-known pub in Lambert Grove. Went down there with Alex and I uh, went in to see him and he was uh, a bit over the top. He got a bit leery, uh, shouted his mouth about. I said, listen, John, you know, I, I ain't come in here for a fight, mate. I just come in here to tell, tell you, don't go down this, don't go down Central Park no more causing problems. He said, I look after it. I wouldn't come down to wherever you worked, where you worked, said, Terry Downs, this place. I said, I wouldn't have come down there causing problems because I know it was on top, would have, would have got on top for me. He said, same with you, don't come down there, please. Got really leery, got out of hand. Um, I then put it on him. I said, oh, you know, I put it really, I want to hit him on the chin, mate. They said, yeah, the neck, about 24 inch neck like that, mate. You know, it's all right there, you know what I mean? And um, I wanted to put it on him big time. But I didn't. You know, and uh, he put it on me in a way. When I walked out of there with a towel between my legs, in a, in a way, I thought, nah, I don't want no problem with this geezer. You know what I mean? In a in a in a bar or whatever. So I walked away, and left it. Um, a week later, um, Alec, my mate Alec Jones, um, went to a place, uh, have a little drink with his missus and and that, and uh, Johnny and uh, put it on Alex. I wanted to know where I was and put it on Alex. Alex uh, can have a right, right fight. He can really have a fight, Alex. And he ain't afraid of no man. Johnny Annan put it on him, a sucks in front of his wife and this and the other. Alex Jones said to him, I'll tell you what I do. Uh, he got a big mouth, Johnny Annan. He could have kicked off in it very easy. It was only because Johnny Annan was with people that knew Alex that it never kicked off. Uh, Alex said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll meet you over the Scrubs Common Saturday. I mean, you have it off, have it. And, and, and the winner is the winner, the loser, the loser. We just, we just forget about it, mate, and let it go. But stop uh, thinking you can bully people that I know and also myself. He went over there with John Yannon and had a, had a, had a fight one to one. And he smashed John Yannon to pieces. Uh, it really did bash him up. You can't, you couldn't knock John Yannon out. You know, he's one of the people that could take bangs and bangs and bangs. You'll knock out, but he'd be tired. He'd give up. Taking too much drink, taking too much drugs, just got out of hand. He's too big, uh, too fat. And uh, he, he's, he's fin finished, mate. He's fighting days and finished. But, you know, uh, the time down his club, so he down his club when he bashed up Johnny Binden. It's like something that I love to have seen. Do you know what I mean? I love to have seen that. Because Binden was a bit leery. Johnny Binden, name bully, you know, just kind of stuck. Johnny, Johnny Binden come right unstuck. And picked on the old man, mate. And uh, the bully bashed him up. There was rumours, there was rumours that uh, Johnny Annan uh, put it on Lenny McLean at a club. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. Uh, but Lenny McLean uh, didn't want to know his bottle went. Whether or, not that's, whether or not that's true, I don't know. I'm only telling you the things that I was told. It's only that I was told about all this last night from people uh, that come over to see me. Yeah, and they're saying about uh, Johnny Annan, 
uh, how much of a fight he was, he put it on Lily McLean, and this, that, and the other. but it's only hearsay, and bang, bang, rail, nice one.